Okay. This is Iman's first attempt at ready. First attempt at putting him around the cones. And I practice with them on disengaging the hind. Start over. Don't punish him. Watch your whip in the air. So you got to look where you're going. Look where you're going. There you go. Good job. Okay, start over. It's not your fault. I mean, it's um, it's not the horse's fault. You have to slow. See the whip? That's what's making them go. When you sent them through, your whip was in the air. So try no whip. Put the whip down. Good. When you twirl that rope, you got to stop twirling it or he's going to continue to go fast. He's confused. This is the You're on the wrong side of the line, huh? But that's okay. Good job. You can take your time, yep. Use the tail of the rope. There you go. All right, now go back to where we started and go the direction that I was going. So start all the way over. Remember, there's a line in the sand that you're to stay on. You send the horse. Good job. Get everything ready. You have the rope in the wrong hand. Yeah, that's the where the rope's supposed to be. But you got to feed him out enough rope and just keep the tail in your hand. There you go. Good. Good job. Slow him down because he's got to get these turns. That's okay. Keep going. Push him through the other cone. Push the front end. Good. Push. Send him through. Now send him to the gate. And change direction. Yep. Change the rope hand. So I'm going to work with him for 10 minutes and then we'll tape again. So you can see why you wouldn't do this with a horse that didn't know it because you confuse the horse and and really piss him off and have him trying to run you over and get aggravated. But Ruger knows this and he's being patient with him, but it was almost impossible to teach somebody this with an aggressive horse or a flighty horse. you got to switch hands. There you go. Good job. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs>